Welcome to Crash Racer. Today we're playing Wreckfest and we're going to do some online racing. I'm going to do four races today. First one is going to be at the Savalak Sandpit. Four laps around here. Fifteen of us in the race. Tight first left hand corner. Whoa, that one's shot through. Yeah, I thought they were going to just clip my back end, but actually they shot right through. Spinner on the outside as well. It's probably blocked a few, so we might be able to make a bit of progress in saying that'll be knocked sideways as well. And here's all the pack <laughs> from behind catching me up again. Can we get into a bit of space here? No. Obviously it's always nice to try and get a nice clean start if possible and normally you then slot into a bit of a gap which hopefully I've found here if no one takes me out on the inside. Right, up into sixth place then. And a little bit of a gap behind actually. That car has caught the barrier so they're going to be going slow through there. Still right behind me though. Yeah, that was a bit of a, a tough first lap, that one, but we've, uh, we have slotted into a bit of a gap now, saying that there's a big pack not too far behind by the look of it on the map. So, don't want to make any mistakes if possible and let them catch up at all. Just need to take this corner clean. So easy to run wide on that corner. It wasn't the uh, wasn't the best there, but uh, at least I didn't run really wide and into the barriers. We've actually got a little bit of a gap back now, about three seconds maybe, back to the uh, sixth place. But it is about six seconds up to the leader as well, and we're not really making much progress on this car just ahead of us in fourth place. You can see the rest of the cars on the track ahead of me strung out Let's see if we can spot yeah there's third and fourth just going around the corner there onto this final straight but as I say we are struggling to catch up and in fact the leaders extending their lead final lap then I have maintained the gap back to uh, to the car behind so that's something so we should be good for a fifth but I think I'm going to be relying on someone to make a mistake in front if uh, if we're to make any improvement on that hold this nice and tight round here might have caught up very slightly on that lap to some of the cars ahead but it's going to be a fifth place good fun race anyway Let's have a look at my lap time. Oh, I'm a good second down on the uh, on the fastest in in that race. Fifth place then. For today's second online race, we're going to be at the Midwest Motor Centre. So we're on the main circuit here, reversing round in the reverse direction. So that means we're going to be going round in a in a clockwise direction, and most of the corners are going to be right-handers coming up over the jump here and we're going to spin that one <laughs> towards this really tight left hander and that was a massive crash there car flying through the air we are up into third place car right behind us though can we sneak up the inside of this one make an extra place maybe they're going to be cutting back into us yeah they've caught the edge though and uh, gone up into the air another car on my outside there can I hold that position I'm on the inside for this next corner as well, so again I should be able to hold it. Oh, another car behind just to push me through, which probably helped. Okay, up into second place then, but uh, a lot of pressure right behind us from two cars. That one's just got it nose up the front, got to watch I don't spin. It's actually helped me turn around the corner, but oh, they're just wasting both of our times now. And uh, yeah, in trying to push past, we've both lost two places. Sometimes you're better in that situation to... Uh, to back out because as I say you just both end up losing time that one's gone for a shortcut over the top I don't know if they've done that intentionally or not the way they've done that and landed it so brilliantly I'm guessing yeah that's uh, that's a trick they do quite often I've never seen that done before but certainly not not on purpose anyway which I think that was okay fourth place then fifth place still a second or two behind us chasing down this third place if possible They've gone wide again, but again that looks like an intentional ploy by them, probably to get a better line into this corner here. They are absolutely using the full limits of the of the track, and that 
has let me get past actually it'd be interesting to see if they go over the top this time <laughs> expect them to see uh, to see them sailing over the top of me to overtake at any point but now we are up and past and we've already pulled a couple of seconds ahead and the gap yeah has suddenly grown to two seconds so I guess again they've probably gone wide and it's not quite worked out all oh, bit of a back marker in the way damn they were swerving left right I didn't know which way they were gonna go and in the end couldn't do anything other than hit them at least I hit them head on so although we've wasted a bit of time it, uh, it could have been worse that has allowed that fourth place right up behind me and second and first place are now five six seconds ahead can just about see them in the distance there's one gone really wide that's not one of the lead two though is it no no that was a back marker when we come then for what is going to be the start of the fifth lap two laps to go seem to be able to hold that one behind me I don't want them to get any closer because of course any closer and they're going to be able to take a lunge at some of these corners where you have to brake and slow a lot I think I am catching maybe the lead two but only very slowly so I'm not sure if we're going to have enough time to catch them before the end is that someone gone off to the side again again it was a back marker though who's that up on the outside yeah that is for third place They've probably gone a bit sideways though, so they might have lost a bit of time. No, they're right behind me still. Right behind me as we come across the line for the start of the final lap. Yeah, they're half a second behind, so they are within punting range if I uh, if they want to take me off at one of these corners. So I'm going to have to be really careful now. That is, I think, second place right ahead of us as well. We're reeling them in. But if we're going to get into a battle now over third, that's probably going to slow us both down and will help second place they've gone wide if that is second but again looks like they might have done that on purpose I'm really having to struggle to hold this one off they're up the inside I've got to get back up the inside if I want any chance sorry mate that was last corner there was nothing else I could do and they closed the gap really well actually they didn't leave any space for a clean overtake so I'd got no option than to do that if I wanted third place Oh, that was a really great battle for that third place. Not a bad time for us. Up and up and around some of the best laps, at least. Third online race, then, and we're staying at the Midwest Motor Centre. So, staying at the Midwest Motor Centre, 15 of us, six laps again, but this time we're in the opposite direction. So, this time we're, we're going in the anti-clockwise direction. Most of the corners are going to be left-handers this time. Let's see uh, what difference that makes, if any. Oh, couple gone wide there. If I can keep pushing through, we're up and around the lead. Of course, I've just got to watch getting spun though when uh, there's so many cars in such a small gap. Bit of frame rate issues there, but we're okay. And I'm pushing my way back up the inside again around this corner. Obviously, a bit slow getting away. That Raiden is right all over me, and they're on the inside for this corner. Whoa, that's twisted me slightly. Got a break to avoid that barrier. Nothing really I could do. Again, that's wasted a lot of time for both of us, and that's allowed that car to get into the lead. Is that a bulldog? I think it's either a bulldog or a buggy. Can't quite see. Yeah, bulldog, I think. And the hammerhead has mugged us both and shot up into the lead got a good run here but couldn't get past that clean we are through though now okay up behind the leader then and because I'm not that bulldog sideways it probably blocked a few of the others so we've already got about three second gap back now to third place right what sort of race are we going to have now can we uh, try and close down on the leader we've got plenty of laps to do it so if we're quick enough we're going to have a chance they've gone very wide there but I think that's again just to take a good line into that corner oh and they've gone for that line over the uh, over the side as well I don't like uh, taking alternative routes like that you've got to really know what you're doing because especially on tracks like this there's a lot of boulders on the side of the track doing a good job of 
pulling away from third place but likewise not making any ground on that leader what's the gap about three seconds the gap as we come across the line for the start of this fourth lap so let's see what the gap is next time see if we are making any progress I've got a feeling they are slowly pulling away I feel like they're just maybe half a second or so quicker a lap so if they make the odd mistake we can close in slightly but then overall they're going to be uh, extending that lead still got the gap up to seven eight seconds back to third place so unless we make a big mistake we should have got second secured of course we've got Mark Winter back markers yet looking at the map there's a big chain of uh, of dots going around all together though so it looks like the pack is fairly close together I just had a glimpse of a back marker on the map there but quite a way ahead probably we're not going to uh, catch them before the end yeah that leader is just slowly extending that lead all the time just we'll have a look at the best laps at the end but I'm guessing it's something like just half a lap a, half a lap quicker than me on every lap which is, is just enough to mean that I can't do anything at all yeah gaps up to about five seconds now leader is coming into a couple of back markers they've got past that one cleanly enough that's going really slow and of course it might slow them down but it's just as likely to slow me down as we're coming past back markers as well or oh, big crash on the side there no that's not the leader though that was one of the back markers another one in the boulders as well I think we have actually closed down slightly so we've probably got through those back markers slightly cleaner than the leader but it's not going to be enough not going to be enough unless there's something just on this final straight can't see any puffs of smoke or wheels flying in the air so I guess they are through yet yeah, and we're through for a second good race enjoyable yeah just about three quarters of a second faster the leader was so uh, yeah we were always going to have trouble catching them I think final online race today is going to be at the Pine Hills Raceway six laps around here 16 of us in this one always love racing here just got to watch this first corner as always very dangerous on the first lap we've got a good run through if I can not get twisted yeah we're all right and we're off and away oh that was a nasty clip on the back end damn just clipped us and we are down in the middle and I'm going too fast to reset as well still going to be quicker I think to reset than drive back on wow that was about as bad a start as we could have had down of course in last place 16th place I think it's going to be a recovery drive I mean the leaders already what's that 16 seconds ahead or something okay let's see if we can still have a bit of fun maybe and uh, hopefully do a bit of overtaking see if we can work our way up this pack a little bit I think we're going to be a little bit hard pushed to get a win but you never know couple gone wide there that's going to give me two places and there's 11th just ahead to try and chase down always have trouble turning into that corner it's uh, to turn in really tight you have to take that really slow it always feels too slow but uh, yeah if you if you drift too wide on that corner you can waste a lot of time okay gaps about 15 seconds up to the leader we are closing in on this car in front of us which will be for 11th and there's 10th just ahead as well so got a couple of cars to aim for at least quite a big gap actually in between all the cars they seem fairly well strung out there's no big clusters of cars which uh, might be a good thing in terms of overtaking if we can catch up makes it slightly easier if you're just overtaking one car at a time big crash there that's going to be a place for me and another two ahead that one's that super venom i think it is has clonked the inside which has allowed me to pull up on them still about 15 seconds down from the lead i've got a good one on the outside that's going to make me vulnerable as i slow down here though if, especially if they can sneak up the outside yeah they've taken a lunge hit my back end and cost us both time unfortunately can we spin them out yeah there we go <laughs> that's the way to uh, handle that situation up into 10th place then 
we were doing quite a good job by the look of it of holding the gap to the leader we we seem to be lapping in a similar time to the leader based on the uh, on the time difference of course that's extended now with that bit of a tussle we've just had okay tenth place and a little bit of work to do to catch up with the next car 11th is still fairly close behind me as well I'll have a look in a bit I don't know if that's the same car that we've overtaken or not if so we probably need to be extra careful when we're slowing down for some of these tight corners okay brake hard a little bit of handbrake there just to get the back end round and get the power down always got to watch for oncoming cars here that are either intentionally or unintentionally over the wrong side of the track that car behind me is keeping pace and there's one in ghost mode don't come out of ghost mode Ooh, just just managed to get past before it did so up into ninth place there's another place made and that might possibly have held the car up that was chasing me down as well came out of ghost mode just at the right time for me and just at the wrong time for the car behind okay ninth place then any more places we can make up was that two more fairly close ahead oh, two or three a little bit of work to do to catch them up still got a few laps left though swing it tight round here and watch we don't drift onto the wrong side so I just tend to ease off the accelerator and feather the accelerator just uh, slightly as we go around that corner no need to brake hard again nice and tight round there powered down three cars sort of together now there so they might start slowing each other down which is good for me might be able to take advantage potential for sixth place then that's I guess that's how it's looking at the moment isn't it sixth place is possibly the best we can get from this race obviously depending on crashes or back markers taking people out one's gone wide there but that looks like it might have been an intentional cut across the corner oh and I didn't see where they went maybe the fact that one went wide was to do with the fact that one had gone off because we've made another place up there eighth place okay so sixth and seventh are our targets now right ahead Hammerhead and a Raiden by the look of it again just need to check as I'm coming down here that there's nothing on the wrong side of the road brake hard cut in get the power down we're catching these two ahead but only quite slowly and we've only got a lap left as we come across the line I need to get a good corner here this corner here is so fast but it's it's very easy to lose a lot of time if you get it slightly wrong and it's also very easy to make a lot of time if you get it if you get it good I was not too bad on there and I've got a good run up the inside we're not gonna be able to hold it I don't think saying that we've got the drag down the hill we can take this next corner fast so hopefully we don't get clipped just got to watch slightly on this next one where we do have to slow just a little bit and of course now into this really tight one. Oh, they've got a much better line through there in saying that I've just clipped their back end. That wasn't intentional. They sort of drove across the front of me and their, their back end just touched my front end and flicked them into the barrier. Totally unintentional, but that has given us that place. They are still actually right behind me, so I need to watch. I think we're going to... Yeah, I don't think we're going to be catching that one in front, but seventh place after such a bad start and starting at the back it's probably not too bad a result and be interesting to see what our lap times were because we did seem to be fairly competitive with the leader based on the on the time difference let's have a look as we come across we were 104.1 oh leader was actually quite a bit quicker i thought we were we were faster than that well that's the end of these online races. I hope you've enjoyed the video and see you soon.